yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, ready, player one. Hopefully you all are feeling fantastic today. We're about to get right into this. This was voted on tier five. I do believe we've done about 17 or 18 tier fives this month, including the private. This is why I was reducing it because it gives, it doesn't give everyone a chance to vote for what they want to watch as well, guys. We have to give a, an even spread around. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys do enjoy this. Ready Player One. Wouldn't have a clue what it's about. It looks like some sort of like video game type of movie. I'm not too sure. Ready Player One. Plus on the front cover here, on the thumbnail, or on the poster, whatever you like to call it, the artwork. There's a player, there's a person with, I don't know, some sort of virtual reality goggles. I don't know is some virtual reality goggles he's wearing and it says game over or something like that so um yeah i'm looking forward to this very very much guys i'm looking forward to it uh if you want to go check this out on full head up here out up here you can watch it over on patreon in full without the watermark whatsoever or down in the description down below go check the links out as well guys and now without further ado let's get right into it guys i'm back i'm ready i'm ready to rock and roll vacation was good and you probably see, you'll probably see right behind me, guys. Right, doof, right there. We now have Professor Snape. So we have Voldemort, Snape, and Harry. Eventually, I want to get Dumbledore, but um, I don't know if Dumbledore can, Dumbledore can fit in there. Don't know. I, I want to get most of the characters. I actually, I actually absolutely love the height and the size of these. Uh, these figurines. I don't like the bobble heads. I don't like those bobble heads. I don't like them. Tanya does. My wife does. My wife loves them. But anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. Come on. Yo! Jump! Come on, baby! Get ready for the feet. Ah, that's it. Boo! I want them all. Okay. So, someone was playing VR there. I saw a video game entertaining. Uh, internet, entertainment board, sorry. Is this like a futuristic world? But yet he's wearing clothes that I will wear while I'm recording right now in 2021. You've got to roll! Pizza, guys. Did these guys predict the freaking future? No way. That actually happens right now. Everything's virtual reality. What the heck? So they're living in a virtual reality world or something. Oh, what? Hey, Hello, Miss Gilmore. I was born in 2027. My parents, they didn't make it through those times. So I live here in Columbus, Ohio with my Aunt Alice. Columbus is the fastest growing city on earth. These days, reality is a bummer. He showed us that we could go somewhere without going anywhere at all. James Halliday saw the future. What? That was sick. A treadmill that quite literally you can walk in any direction possible. That is nuts. He gave us a place to go. The Oasis. The Oasis? This is the Oasis. It's a place where the limits of reality are your own imagination. You can do anything go anywhere i want to tell you something right now guys i i i have been saying this for so many years just think about the people in this world that are, will never be able to do that one because of their disabilities and two they can't afford it these things these things should have already been accessible already been accessible to everyone around the world those are the sort of things we should be inventing. Things that make the world a better place. People come to the Oasis for all the things they can do. Different sex, a different species, live action, cartoon. And that's the beauty of video games. Yeah, that's me. Well, that's my avatar. At least hmm. until I feel like changing. This is where we meet each other. It's where we make friends. Locate H. Planet Doom. The most dangerous place in the Oasis. H is my best friend in the Oasis. Even though I've never actually met him in the real world. Hmm. Next race is in 20 minutes and I can't do the late one. What the hell are you up to? 
I've heard so many stories about it. People meeting their best friends on the internet. Yeah, meeting their really close friends on the internet. That's another thing too, because when people don't have a lot of friends because people are, are so judgmental in the real world, which is true, everyone has to admit that. Everyone's so judgmental in the real world is that when you go to reality, you, you don't judge people by face value, you judge people by their personality. And that's one, one good thing, one, well, not one good thing, sorry, one extra good thing about it. That's an artifact hunt? Yeah, Gregarious 120. Artifacts. Those were key. Everyone starts the same, but the more coin you make, the more you level up. Everything you've ever worked for. Losing your shit means, well, losing your shit. You see, the Oasis was the brainchild of Whoa. James Halliday. He and his partner Ogden Morrow released the first Oasis <laughs> bill in 2025. It was an instant uh, success, brilliant. and it made them both very rich. He was like a god. People loved him. And then, on January 7th, 2040... What happened? He died. Yeah, right. Was that Avengers? Hello. I'm James Halliday. Before I died, I created... Easter egg. Hmm. A hidden object gives special powers to whoever discovers it. First person to find the egg is currently valued in excess of half a million dollars. So how expensive is the world that they're living in? Half a trillion yeah, I'll be killing everyone that's in that game. <laughs> 500 billion dollars? I created three keys. We'll reach the end where the prize awaits. Mm. Off you go, key. Let the hunt for Halliday's Easter egg begin. The challenge to win the first key was a race designed by Halliday that was so hard. Is that the DeLorean? Oh, it is too. <laughs> Voila, Dio. They got now know why no one has finished the race, not because of what's in the race, but because who is racing the race. <laughs> <laughs> Age, are you seeing this? Girl, I think it's Artemis. The Artemis? The sixer fixer? Whoa! Whoa! He saved her life. He saved your life, Sheila. H, well, he's my friend, but he could fix it for you. <laughs> Helmet, please. Helmet, please. This is my workshop. Touch nothing. Where'd you find an iron giant? Find it? I'm building it. Oh, where's the Harkonnen dropship? That <laughs> thing is sick. Fold space like a boss. I mean, why is he? Why does he have a voice change? As like he's, uh, I don't know. It's like he's too embarrassed to, to to show his voice. I don't know. He has a voice change. You hear it? Hmm. I can fix it in ten minutes. I can fix it in ten minutes. Yep. He says. He's Lex Luthor. Cool. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Come on. Now I know why you stopped short. 
<laughs> Stop. No one ever makes it past Kong. That, that's, that's like a rule. A real Gunter would risk everything to save the Oasis from IOI. There you go. Good as new. Thanks for the fix up, my man. That's better. McFly. <laughs> I gotta go. I zeroed out because of your broke ass gloves. That artifact was gonna pay for the house. Wait, so take it out of here. I couldn't have beat them in a boot suit, you noob. Stop! Oh, love. No! How do you put up with this guy? He's a shit show. Out. Yeah, right. Wade Watts. But he died when I was a kid. My mom too. Like every other superhero, their parents die when they're a little kid. Holiday. Now the ones crowded halls of Halliday's memories are left to people like me. And how will you eat up my valuable search time today? You don't want to talk about it. You're forcing me out. Closer on Halliday. I don't want to make any more rules. A dreamer. I'm a dreamer. Backwards. Really fast. Fast as we can. Go back! Ten seconds! Backwards. Really fast. Fast as maybe he's trying to say in the race to go in reverse so you run the race backwards we can <laughs> really put the pedal to the metal you know hmm figure something out Parsifal, tell me <laughs> Going back the way it was. Going to back the way it was. Huh. Nice racing, Padawan. Wow. You're the first to finish. Padawan. <laughs> it's such an honor. The honor is all mine. No one in five years has done this. Get yourself a clue. His name's up on the board. Parzival. Parzival, and how the hell is he winning? Well, here's a better question. Who cares? He has a key, but you have to get three of them to win the contest. All of this implies we win the contest. Indeed it does. You want the key and that hundred thousand coins? X1 haptic boot suit? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh oh. What the heck? Who the heck is this? Hi Rock, old friend. How are you? The orb of Osavox. Don't say orb that again. Of Osavox. Okay. For now, I'm gonna let you know when I want to use it. Okay. I have another job for you. Uh, Parzival, you want him off the scoreboard. Can you do that? You bite straight to the chocolatey center of the Tootsie Pop. <laughs> Remember that old commercial <laughs> with the owl? I rock. Three times my normal fee. Done. Wait, really? There's five of us on the big board now. Artemis was next. No surprise there. I gave H a tip, made him promise not to say anything. Retrace your steps, escape your past, and the key of Jade will be yours at last. Hmm. A creator who hates his own creation. A creator who hates his own creation. Trace your steps, escape your past. What part of your past are you trying to escape, Halliday? I wonder if... All right, my head's working 500 miles an hour right now. Hmm. Hey, it's Parsifal! Dude, Parsifal's right here! Can I make an You're hungry. Whoa! Oh my gosh, that was freaky. That is not funny. That was freaky. You're the Parsifal now. You have to have a disguise. I'm not wearing that. <laughs> Can't you tell it's him by the tattoo or? Is that Sorrento? Yeah. Sorrento started as an intern. Can you fast forward to the stuff about Halliday's date? What? 
Helen actually went on a date. Nothing. I invited her over. Karen. Karen. Okay. Karen Underwood. Oh, Karen Underwood. As in Ogden Morrow's wife? Just watch. Oh, I think I'm starting to piece it all together. Halliday went on a date with Ogden Morrow's wife? The name Kira is only mentioned once in all of Halliday's journals. I always felt that the biggest clue to the contest was hidden here. You're right. She's the big mystery. No, no, a bet is a bet. You can keep it. No, you can keep it. Be free Thursday? Who, me? You got to guess you. <laughs> uh. Meet me there. 10 p.m. All right. I don't do that. <laughs> Should I go more... Thriller? No. <laughs> She's hacking your heart to get to your head. She could be a dude too, dude. Come on. I'm serious. This is a female. This is a female. <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> Dude, this movie is sick. Thank you. Buckaroo Bonsai? Huh? I like it. I like Buckaroo Bonsai. Get out of here. Arctic Globe was one of the first clubs Halliday created in the Oasis. That's... that's date with Kira. Right, and she was a serious dancer. Is she working with them? The heck? So when we jump off, maybe it's different, right? If you're wondering why you singing that guy, why are you singing that Dylan, you don't know the song. Guys, it's because of copyright, okay? I don't want to get copyrighted when this goes to YouTube, all right? Maybe it'd be cool if we met up in the real world. Nah, you'd be disappointed. This isn't my real body. Or my real face. I want to know your real name. My name's Wade. What? You don't tell anyone who you are. You can't use your real name. I'm in love with you. Uh oh the challenge? No! That's what you're in love with. He's in love with the thought about what she is, what she's representing, who she's representing in this world. Watch out! <sighs> Hola, tío. I just bought this. I'm doing this to stop IOI. I'm talking about real world consequences. My dad died in a loyalty center. Sorry, no, you don't live in the real world, Z. You live inside this, this illusion. And I can't afford to let you distract me. Whoa. All right, well, that ended uh, quick. I, I did a search for all the Wades who had recently bought an X1 boot suit, and then I found out. Ready? <laughs> Identity of Parzival? is Wade Watts. Are you loyal, Ms. Xander? Only question is how far are we willing to go to win it? Hmm. Tell me what you need, Nolan. Where am I? IOI Plaza, you're a hologram in the real world. To find that Easter egg, there's a bonus, $25 million. Drink tab, play Robotron, listen to Duran Duran. Crack open a tab. I put on some Duran Duran. I play Robotron. That's why I love the Oasis. James Halliday is dead. You know what? It just seems like he wouldn't want you winning it. So if you want to know what I really think, I think you're full of shit. Hmm. Uh -uh. You really switched gears there. From fairly reasonable to maniacal overlord. <laughs> <laughs> Owen Watts, born August 12th, 2027. Right, don't do this. I'm not even there. Not for long. Dial Alice. Pick up. Pick up. His auntie Alice. is dead. His auntie is dead. His auntie is dead. I don't want to hear your voice ever again. Uh. What an asshole that guy is. What an asshole that Rick guy is. Seriously.
Contact H. Daito Show and Artemis. I'll be coming after you. So oh, you shivers! <laughs> Sorry about the blindfold. No. My guys are a little paranoid. My real name is Samantha, but yeah. I'm Artemis. She's beautiful. Charged that way. The heck? Welcome to the rebellion. Wade. So she's conscientious about the way she looks? Or the way she lives? What? She looks fine to me. That's IOI. So the stacks are over there? Oh. Uh, I'm not disappointed. I've lived with it my whole life. You don't have to pretend. Poor her. You have a birthmark. So what? They're not called birthmarks. They're called beauty marks. Only the most beautiful of people have those marks. Just remember that, guys. You forget what it's like to be outside. Yeah. Oh, shit! Huh? I just figured it out. She scared the crap out of me. The leap not taken, the leap Halliday didn't take, is with Kira. He had a chance with Kira. He had a chance to kiss her. He didn't take the leap. At the movies. Can we see November 23 to 27, 2025? The Shining. <gasps> Someone told me that! Someone told me that! Someone told me that! Someone told me this! Someone told me that the director of The Shining hated that movie so much he was embarrassed. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, so that's the movie. Oh my gosh, someone told me. Someone told me, and I think it was you, Eric. I think it was Eric that told me this. Melody's 11th favorite horror film, and it's based on the best-selling book by Stephen King. Stephen King hated the movie. The person who made the book hated the movie. That's what I was meant to say, sorry. Five minutes to find the key. Yeah, there's so many keys in The Shining, though. Where do we start? Oh, piss off! Hey, Not sorry. these girls again. No, 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 no. Oh no. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, it's the Red River. Oh, it's the blood. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's the naked lady. Oh, gosh. It's the naked lady scene. One of my favorite scenes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, see, this pissed at me. Oh my gosh. Hey, yo, I saw a picture of Kira. What? It's Kira. Escape your past. His biggest fear was kissing a girl. Mm. That's the leap he couldn't take. Oh no. Oh no. The butler. Oh no. The butler. Oh gosh. It's Kira. How do we get to her? Take the leap. Wait! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dance. You know how long I've been waiting for you to ask? Oh, oh, well, well. Hmm. Oh, you found my jade. Magnificent. Kira was a very beautiful. Go on. What was that? If you know the answer, ultimate. Divided by the number magic and what you need, want and desire will be found in the fortress tragic. She cracked the clue. Now we just have to win the shining challenge. Mr. Sorrento, I really think you need to see this. Now Parcival's got the jade key. He's alive. Run him through our database. Every IOI drone in Columbus. Find him. Hmm. Groceries are here. All right. Tragic. That's got to be Halliday referring to himself. Why? Because he was lonely. 
Mm. All right, so they're screwed now because now the so-called, well, you can say bodyguard or hitman, whatever you want to call him, yeah, an assistant. You understand, Halliday. You know him better than anyone. Uh-oh. You're first. I'm right behind you. Go now. I'm going to delay them. Wait. No, 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 wait. No, no. Samantha Evelyn Cook. Be remanded to the nearest IOI loyalty center until your debt is paid in full. Hmm. Oh. Never trust someone you meet in the Oasis. Yo! Some dude named Chuck, who lives in his mama's basement in suburban Detroit. <laughs> I told you. I told you it was a girl. I told you. Hmm. My real name is Toshiro. Samantha got us a message. Another awesome news, the Sixers found the third challenge. So they sent every guy they had into that sector until they found the right fortress. Show? What? Said, yeah, I'm 11, so what? World's most badass 11-year-old ever. <laughs> he knows. Shut up, man. We have to go save Samantha. Well, first, I have to know exactly. How much about Sorrento's rig do you remember? Kind of everything. He even knows the password. Remember that. He even knows the password. Get to work. Lost coin if you zero out. Keep it moving. An Atari 2600, sir. Oh, Every game ever made for it. Really. Whoa. Call me when you're close. Yes, sir. Go, go, go! Pitfall, one of the only 2600 games that Pitfall still has two an engine. Hi, Rock, how are we doing? Be honest, I think I need physical therapy because it's not... Is the good. orb ready? The orb of Asavax. And I'll not rock with vas bethad. Do heol di envy. Hola, tío. Artemis. Who? Samantha Cook. Where is she? Hmm. Yeah, that seems appropriate. <laughs> Gun to your chest, you Stop. bow down. I think he pissed himself. Good job, Hola, deal. Oh, he really doesn't know he's the Oasis. Huh. This is what Sorrento should be seeing. Whoa. All right. Holy smokes. I thought it was real world. He's back at his office in the real world, but actually, he's here in the identical office that age. Good enough to leave his password line around. Loyalty Center, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Let's get Z, Z! Artie, Artie, don't say anything. I'm tapped directly into your audio feed. How did you find me? We got his password, Hack Sorrento's rig. I heard one of the guards calling it the orb of Ozzy Vox, and the only way to take it down is from the inside. Okay, inside the panel, there's a lever. Grab it with your right hand and slide it to the left. That should. Yeah, right. <gasps> oh, it worked! Wrote him out. What's his password? It's capital B zero fifty five man sixty nine. I'm gonna take down that shield. Wait, Artie, wait. You gotta get out of there, Artie. How much do they pay you? Cause man, I got a lot of paper. You know, I shut up. Okay. Uh oh, he sees the reflection. Oh, shivers. This is real. You're tapping my feet. Uh oh. Guys. <laughs> Finale, they packed my rig. They're after the girl. Do your job and I'll do mine unless you want to take this and go after them yourself. Fine. <laughs> Nolan, okay, so Nolan's the type of person, right, that says, okay, you know what? I can't do things myself. I'm just going to throw money at it. That's the type of person he is, yeah? <laughs> Citizens of the Oasis, I am Parsifal, first to the key. I'm here talking to all of you now because our future is being threatened. Some have lost their freedom. Some have lost their lives. A force field around the third challenge. But I stayed, like many of you. I found my friend. I found love. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Sorrento think that we will put up a fight. Keith 
thinks that we won't oh even gosh. put up a fight. She well, just walks out. I say he's wrong. Activate the Iron Giant. Voila, Dio! Are you willing to fight? I am Parzival of the High Five. In the name of James Halliday himself, help us save the Oasis. Speak and they shall come. I'm hoping they do. I'm hoping they come. Here comes a y'all ready like a lamb. Hey, he comes up. He comes up. Yeah. Hola, Dio. No, 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 no. No man is a failure who has friends. Uh -huh. One minute into Sword Quest, the ice broke. How long does it last, this orb thing? Yeah, about 10 million years, so we should be fine. <laughs> Hola, Dio! I say 10 minutes. <laughs> Not even 10 minutes, 10 seconds. Ooh, it's game over, buddy. They're playing adventure. Of course. We're looking for a USPS truck, Ohio plates, a drone spitter 2036 model. Guys, who? What are you getting into this fight? Real gun! Real gun! <laughs> fucking Chucky! <laughs> <laughs> I do have to make Mecha Godzilla. I do have to admit that uh, that was sick. That was impressive, man. That was really impressive. Godzilla. Naito now. Get to the bridge. Go now. He's distracting. Go 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 go. Now. What a Gundam leak. <laughs> Shit, it's her. Uh, my life. <laughs> this movie is incredible. This movie is absolutely incredible. Absolutely 100% incredible, this movie. Wow. The girl's in the war room. I can handle the challenge, but I can't let you get hurt in the real world. You'll forgive me for this, I promise. Wait, no, 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 no. Get it together, Sixer. Back to respawn. Oh. So it's actually, uh, it's actually lucky that he shot her. Ooh, my heart was beating there for a, for a sec. My heart was beating? Wow. My heart wasn't beating at all. I'd be dead. My heart was beating faster. And it's going to cost them. Whoa. Wait. He's trying to win. Hmm. Yeah! 
I won. Oh. He won. He lost. Not adventure. He said he Everyone won. Who... Not about winning. It's about playing. And you don't find it by winning. You find it by wandering around in a dark room. Let me finish it for you. Oh no. Give you 50 million in your account. Right now. I will never let the future of the Oasis rest in your hands, Nolan Surrender. Chance to. Hey, I'm not going out. <laughs> <laughs> My world, Sorrento. Ha ha! Ha Oh no! Shivers. No, no, no! Idiot. Selfish, selfish person. Oh, if I can't have it, you can't have it. No one can have it. What have you done? Get me out of this thing. He's still in it. See, he's still alive. Extra life. Hola, tío. Thanks, curator. I'm Toshiro. You know me as Daito. <laughs> Wait, are you? Wait? Playing. Extra life. Long story. Sorry I shot you. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> <What? laughs> Ninjas don't hug. Alright, everybody. Hold Ninjas on. Ninjas don't hug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this annoying idiot still. Got you. Give me that. First Easter egg ever put in a video game. The creator's name. What's going on, man? I can't see shit. Percival just got the crystal key. Oh no! You want it or not? This is Parzival. My real world name is Wade Watts, and we're gonna need your help. Come on. Yeah, that's it. Now you just sign these papers. You will be its sole proprietor. I'm gonna need a second. Voila, Dio! <laughs> Madre mia. He doesn't want to do it. Because he knows it doesn't belong to him. This is wrong. This is the moment that Halliday made Moro sign over his shares in Gregaria. That was the biggest mistake of his life. Oh! He knew that. This can't be the end. I won't make the same mistake you did. Oh, good. I just needed to be sure. This is where you grew up. Whoa. That's him playing video games. This is the button. If you push it, so you now have the power to turn the oasis off forever. Why would you want yeah, to do that, though? Once you take this egg, the game will be over. The egg. Hola, tío. You're a dead meat. Ah, you got no bullets. Created the oasis because I never felt at home in the real world. This is how I was taught. This is how I was. This is what I was talking to you guys about. Sorry, how these people communicate. I just didn't know how to connect with people there. Yes, there's some evil things that can happen online, but also some magical things, some magnificent things. Because reality is real. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. He did it. He got the egg. Hooray. <laughs> no! Please! Drop the gun. Now, on the ground. Hmm. Mr. Halliday, 
You're not an avatar, are you? No. Is Halliday really dead? Yes. Hmm. And what are you? Goodbye, Parsifal. Thanks for playing my game. Wow. Wade? Ogden Morrow? You can call me Og. Now, there are some people out here that would very much like to meet you. Something I need to do first. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to miss his opportunity. I'm taking the leap. Hola, tío. There it is. Don't miss out on your abuela. Super romantico, huh? Eh? <laughs> looking for Wade Watts. I record everything in my workshop. <laughs> Absolutely everything, including the kiss. They want your signature, Wade. I'm splitting. Don't it do it. And things together. That's a good choice. I'm not gonna lie, I thought putting the signature on there would be a bad idea, but obviously not. Benali, listen to me very carefully. Hola. How'd you get here so fast? Oh, I flew from the stars on my magic sleigh. I've been watching a little closer than most. You're the curator? Well played, Parzival. Jim told me yeah, right. about the contest. You figured out that Kira was the key on your own. You were the rosebud. And Halliday's biggest regret was losing his only friend. Oh, <laughs> that's beautiful. Oh. Well, look who it is. It's my heroes, the High Five. IOI had no choice. They shut them all down. We closed the Oasis on Tuesdays and Thursdays. People need to spend more time in the real world. Reality is the only thing that's real. Yo! That is it. Ready Player One. Ready Player One done and dusted. And let me just say that. With Ready Player One, I have a... F For me, this is a story about staying true to who you believe you are. Stay true to what you believe in. Stay true to yourself as a person. Always stay true to yourself. And this is the big thing I've taken out of this movie. It, it really, it really does hit me hard. Well, it doesn't hit me hard personally, but it really hits me hard in the face on what this movie is all about. Staying true to yourself. And he did. And what happened? Him staying true to himself, believing in himself. He ended up conquering it. He ended up getting all three keys. He ended up saving everyone. He ended up saving Oasis. Even though two days were closed for him to snooze, snooze. But he ended up saving Oasis with the help of his friends. But this is like, it's, it's so crazy. It's so, so gosh darn crazy how... Villains in movies can also portray people in real life. And what I mean by that is when people get power, when people have money, they have this sense of feeling like they can control everybody. And I had a big sense of that. With this, with this, with this, ass, I forgot his freaking name already. I had a big sense of that with this asshole thinking that he could change. Well, sorry, that he could change a video game, win it, beat it, conquer it by throwing money at people, by throwing money at it. When if he. If he quite literally, if if he, if he was a nice person, if he wasn't so stubborn to try and conquer it all by himself and use it for bad, be an evil person, he would have got all three keys. But no, 
No, no, no. He wanted it all for himself. As every villain in every movie that we see, they're either selfish or they're stupid. Simple. Their stupidity takes over because of their selfishness and their power, their money-hungry power takes over. And it really does, it really does, I'll say it, it really does resonate with the outside world. And what he was saying too, okay, I get, I get, I get a lot of people, we, 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 we love games, but sometimes we need to go, go outside and we need to, we need to, we need to see reality, yes, we need to, we need to experience reality get that first kiss get that first crush have a family fall in love have your heart broken you need those experiences of life because that really makes you as a person there's two there's 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 two different sides to the story yeah a lot of people say, oh, video games are so bad for you. No, they're not. Shut your mouth. Video games are not bad. It works both ways. Okay? It works both ways. There's the benefits on the on the gaming side, and there's the benefits on the social side. And the social side, what I mean by, is that you can make friends from video games. You can make friends from these video games that you won't make in the real world because you're too scared but making these friends in the video games you meet them up in the real world and you're confident you can be yourself you can be your who you want to be because these people that you're talking to on the video game they're not judgmental well <laughs> some could be in the real world you don't know but there's a lot of things that you can take out of playing video games and meeting friends online there's so many so many benefits behind it so many benefits behind it and so many life lessons too so many lessons that you can learn from video games but then also you have the you have the reality yes you have the social world it's, it's always good to mix both. Having too much of one is not good for your health in the long run. It's not good for your health. Mixing both is very, very good. Mixing both is very good. Because like I said, you have to experience everything in life. Look, I know some people that just play video games. And they're in their, their, their mid-20s. But they just play video games. Here's reality, here's the video games. I know a lot of those people that have never had jobs. They're younger than me, they've never had jobs. They don't know the experience of what it's like to find a job that you really love. To find something that you really love. And also they don't know about falling in love. What it feels like to fall in love. To be in relationships. And they're miserable. <laughs> and I know they're miserable because they've told me. But they're too scared to go back to... They're too scared to go to reality. Whereas if they found the balance before it got too much for them to handle in video games. In the online world. They could have balanced it out. They still can. But they feel as if they can't. And I know a lot of people like that over on this side. I know a lot of people. A lot of people I know that are like that. I went to school with back home in Australia. That I know family, friends. I, I know that. I know. I know. I know. I know. But it's about breaking that barrier. Once you break that barrier, stay true to yourself. Just because you see someone that you think is above you and you can't be in a relationship or you you can't speak to them. No, bullcrap. Be yourself. 
Be yourself. And if that person doesn't like who you are, then you shouldn't be with that person. If that person doesn't like who you are, then you shouldn't be friends with that person. If that person doesn't like who you are, then you shouldn't associate with those people. Simple. But this is what life is. You go through different people to see who you can associate with. Simple. Very, very simple, guys. But always stay true to yourself. Don't pretend to be who you're not. Just to be friends with people. Just to be to be in a certain group. Don't always pretend. To, sorry. Don't pretend to be someone that you wish you want to be. Always, always be yourself. Always, guys. No matter what. And trust me, life will be 100% better. 100% better. I can talk for days and days and days about everything okay guys i have so much more to talk about about that situation about more things as well but hey we don't have 15 hours all right so guys i hope you enjoyed today's movie i really did enjoy it i absolutely loved it wow what a great movie thank you for recommending it thank you very much everyone over on patreon unbelievable you guys are absolutely incredible you've been killing it absolutely killing it i love you all for that everyone over on youtube if you want to check this out on full head up here or down in the description down below where you can check them out in full with me without no watermark okay guys just remember that with no watermark anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you very much i'll speak to you tomorrow stay safe be smart stay safe be kind to one another but most importantly remember to be happy all right guys take it easy i'll speak to you later bye